Bourbon is magic brown water for fun people. Fun people, that's you. How's it going up, Charlie? Because the more she drinks, that's me. The yeah. better he looks. That's me. Yeah. How's it going up, Charlie? I'm gonna need some. Oh, I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in and Jean. Yes. A popular demand, 13th century rye whiskey. So we did the 13th century bourbon, mm -hmm. uh, which is a unique. Uh, 13th century, if you don't know, is the only distillery in America, maybe the world, but no America, that does their own bottles and has their own bottle making and they blow uh, their own glass. So they design a copper pot still inside of this, the not thing. This one. Not this one. This does have one on the back, but it's indented into the glass. Mm. So the bourbon has one built inside of the. Um, I remember that one. It's a Uniqua. Yeah, yeah. Uniqua. So this is the. Well, there's a picture of, on that right there of oh. how they do that. Yeah, picture on her. Yep. If picture you, right there. You can see it. Uh, this is American rye whiskey. This is 95% malted barley, 5% rye. 64% Wait, A, B, B. 95% malted barley or 95% rye? 95% rye, 5% malted barley, oh, 95 I thought, I thought you said the other way around. Maybe I did. I, who's to say? 64% is the ABV, 128 proof. Um, this is batch number one. Cask, barrel strength, cask, char levels are two, three, four, and five. And if memory serves, they use 30 gallon barrels. Mm. What you getting on the nose there, Jean Marie? Um, 95.5. I was expecting a different nose. Oh yeah, this is not, this is a unique rye. Um, so I do get rye. I get the spearmint. I get a little bit of, of lemon. Then I get corn notes. I'm getting brown sugar and butter. Yeah, it, it smells like a bourbon. It smells like a bourbon. It smells uh, uh, corn. If you put this, if you give this to me blind, I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah, 100% of the time. You got your brown sugars. I'm getting a baked potato. Don't know what that's about. Maybe I'm just hungry. Um, yeah, I'm getting all your bourbon notes. Your brown sugars, caramel. I'm, now I'm starting to get a little bit of rye. There's just a whiff of rye. Yeah. It's like when you said 95, when I 95. thought you said 95 corn five burp or five rye what was what i thought you said yeah. um then i'd be like oh yeah I, I get that i don't get the other way around though now the bourbon was freaking dynamite i have high expectations for this as a rye not a lot of those other one i've already told you i'm gonna have a good one it is kind of a soft muted nose for it being this percent abv i'm getting my nose all the way down in there and i'm just go slow getting, go slow Oh. ABV. Oh, me darn. I was just talking to you about that. I think it blew my palate out. Oh, um, no. Are you okay? Do you need water? No. Unique nose or unique palate here. This is sweet. This is actually some notes here of a single malt. I'm getting leather. I'm getting, um, is this 95.5 or is this 100% rye? I'm getting like a single malt notes here. I get like, a sh I'm getting sherry notes. I'm getting like uh, grandmother's permanent. I'm getting, I'm getting sherry notes here. I'm getting uh, leather notes. I'm getting leather notes that are synonym synonymous with me with American single malts. I'm not getting the normal rye. I wonder if this. Mm, I'm not, I'm trying. What is that? This is from Colorado, this is Colorado Distillery. Um, what is that unique? They use a unique rye there a lot in Colorado. It starts with a T. Can't remember what it's called. Oh no, you're talking. You're you're talking about the. Um, that's Fort Worth in it. That's yeah. That's, that's Texas. black one. Yeah. Uh, this has got to be unique rye grain. This is not a normal rye. I get more bourbon notes even on the palate than I do rye, um, mm -hmm. but this is different. I like it's this. It's a different type of note. Yep. How do I describe it? Um, it's got a little bit of lemon. It's got a little bit of. A lot of brown sugar, a lot of corn flavors for me. Um, I got some caramel. I Rep got some spices. I got some cinnamon. We're having two different experiences here. For me, this is heavy earthy notes with blackberry, black cherry, uh, black cherry ice cream, uh, black cherry pop. A lot of black cherries on here. It's earthy. It's grainy. It's sweet. I like this. I don't know if I would not think this is a rye. I don't think this is 100% single malt. 
I can see this being a blind. I would guess this is a Scotch Malt Whiskey Society rye because I have one over here that's Scotch Malt Whiskey Society from Few, which I believe is in New York. It does not taste like a rye. I need rye. a lot of water, I think. I'm gonna yeah, do it. That's a good call. Water in here. That's a good call. Um, I'm going to join you with the, look at that. I'm going to do a hefty amount of water. Hefty. I did hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I sure did. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. If oh. you're over 40, you know what that means. I have not seen one of those in a while. See? There you go, Miss Jean. I don't Jean. watch, I've not, I have not seen a commercial in a while. <laughs> we uh, watch a lot streaming. of. Streaming. Yeah, we, 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 we cut the cord on cable. A while back. Three, four years ago, and now everything's streaming. Getting. Uh, pine trees, pine needles, evergreens. I have. That's the earthiness for me. I get cherries. I have black cherry all over this. On the I'm not, it's not black cherry Long for me. Finish. This is a red. This is a red, straight up cherry pie without the pie parts. Sweet cherry pie. This is just the cherry parts. This is the cherry filling out of a can. Huh. Seven-year-old Charlie appreciates that note. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah, right on top of a cheesecake. The ABV is more strong on my nose now with a huge amount of water. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah it's it's going. I might need to put some more water in here. Hmm. Mmm. Mm. There's the rye. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Uh, so, freshly baked rye bread, Woo. right out of the oven. It's hot. This is hot. It's hot, but it's still not, you didn't put enough rye in the rye bread. Maybe it's still in there. Oh my goodness. Um, One great thing, fun fact about castrix, I'm not gonna go any deeper, but you, you do it. I am. About castrix is you can bring the water down. Now, yes. if you're a distiller, and you're trying this, you could bring this thing down to 30% to 20%, play around with it to get what are you searching for, what notes you want before you release it to the public. Love a cash rank. <laughs> that wasn't pornographic at all. Smell my lemon no? cookie. No? Smell my lemon cookie. <laughs> I got a Damn nice it. lemon cake, lemon cookie. Mmm. Ah. Great, great Boys of Men song, by the way. Order. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Great song. Mine, ladies. Mine. And I did I'll, that. I'll sing it, ladies. Okay, I like it a lot better with water. I like to bring it down. Normally, I am against mm. that. I, I normally like the higher ABVs because to me, as it's, it sits on your tongue a little bit, I get those flavors, but this, for whatever reason, is just a little too hot, and I need all those water, I need a little bit more water to bring all those flavors out. Damn. But I'm getting those those rye, a little bit of rye, not a lot of rye, but I'm getting those the lemon, and it's like a nice, moist lemon cake. Weird notes, this is 100% a freshly baked all spice cake or a spice cake donut. Um, and freshly charred, just the, this uh, wait, uh, a, a whiff of a perfectly um, charred steak. Just a whiff, but mostly that caked allspice donut with uh, powdered sugar frosting on it. You're not getting lemon cake? No, I get yeah. allspice cake. Mine's a lemon cake. None of that though, a traditional rye. None of it. None is a traditional rye that is for sure. What is in balloon eye? Just kidding. Whatever. Just kidding. She loves me. She loves me. Not. She loves me. Um, unique, unique rye. This is a definitely a unique rye. I'm not certain how to score it. Uh, this, I, I may have got, I don't know. I'm doing an 88. I, I think I might have gone a little too high on my 89. This, um, this is absolutely anywhere from an 87 to a 92. What I like about it is that it changes with water. Yes. And I love that it's coming into that nice, moist, juicy lemon cake, which I like. 
like yeah. that juicy lemon cake. Unique ride, not what I was and expecting. Those peppers, Mama likes the peppers. The I have no idea what we scored the bourbon at, but it was a higher. Nice. That's good choice. That's good. Uh, what did I pay for this? You paid for this. Somebody, you paid for this actually. I don't know who paid for this. You did. It was a long time ago. It was. We've had this for a while. And for five years. I have eighty-five dollars written down, and I don't know if that's still what they sell it for. So. Uh, according to the website, vague memory. Yes. Um, if you're going for a ride, it's overpriced. If you're going for a bourbon, well, I don't know. If you're trying to get your your have a little bit more of a variety on rye, this Boom. is a different rye. Yeah. I mean, for the right. the mash bill ninety five five, and for the way that it tastes, I would not guess this as being a rye. Uh, that mash bill, at least, I wouldn't. I wonder if I have the mash bill wrong. I wonder if I have the mash bill wrong. If, if you know the mash bill, put it, it down. It says American rye on it, so it's got to at least be 51%. Well, that's true. That's true. The 13th I still century. I still wouldn't guess it as 51% without bringing it down, without adding a ton of water to bring out those rye notes. And they do fractional distillation, which is a little bit unique, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's not a whole lot of known about 13th century that's open up on the, on the online. Anyway. Uh, uh worth, it, worth it to you, yes or no? Mm, it Ish. seems a little, maybe right around mm. in there. Anything like that? Maybe right around in there. Right around there. Right I'm around. Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. And hungry right now.